yes, I want Apple to pay as little taxes as it can. I want Apple to keep innovating. I want GE to keep innovating. Part of what made GE great was that approach that Jack Welch had that kill your own business type approach that if you're that we should be the ones out innovating ourselves and i want apple to lobby to be left alone as you're saying and so and i'll even go a step further if there are subsidies dangling out there for apple and ge and all it takes is some lawyer filling out a form to say hey let's get this subsidy i don't blame them for taking it what I, as an advocate of the free market, have a problem with is them going out and lobbying for new policies and then a slightly grayer case for the continuation of current policies that involve them profiting in ways they could not profit through free and open competition. Because the pursuit of profit in the context of free and open competition creates tons of wealth. The pursuit of profit when it's, oh, if we start selling these cylindrical shaped uh, solar panels, we can get a government loan guarantee, thus get great new financing, and that'll make it easier for us to profit. That's not creating value. That's following what bureaucrats want instead of what the market, what people are are demanding. So what I'm saying is, yeah, if you're if you're GE and you want to go out there and you want to be left alone, then that lobbying is nothing I'm ever going to hold against you. But if you're GE and you're saying these, uh, well, these light bulbs that are fancier and higher profit margin, people aren't buying them. So we're going to join on with uh, the Democrats who are pushing these efficiency standards. That's problematic because that's trying to use the government to profit. And that's something that's both morally wrong and it divorces the pursuit of profit from the creation of economic wealth.